Like even Super Mario 64 DS, he he may have slipped. What was that? I was like r surfing on the edge. Hey, buddy, it's Crazy Guitar 4, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we took care of Peanut Park, and we finished that up. Um, there's a, some stuff happened, especially a game over, but we don't talk about that. Um, <laughs> and so in this episode. I am back finally to Sunshine. It took a little bit for me to get back into recording Sunshine, but we're here and we're gonna open up the next area. What is this next area, you may ask? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Serena Beach. And for the first episode, the Manta Storm. Now, this one's gonna be very interesting. Um, people have said that this is a pretty difficult one. Um, I've done this before, obviously. Uh, and it it does have its difficulty, that's for sure, but it's not the most terrible. Like, I can definitely deal with this one. Now, Serena, Serena Beach, very nice area. I mean, like, look at this. That is beautiful. That is literally beautiful. And there's Peanut Park right over there in the distance, and I think that's it. Let me just make sure. I think, we, I can, I think you can only see Peanut Park, and there's nothing over there. Yeah, there's Peanut Park there in the distance, which is really nice. Um, I wonder why Peanut Park is the only one. I'm like, based off of Delfino Plaza... Well, well, in order to get into Serena Beach, you just enter a pipe. Where does that pipe lead to? In the, on the island? I have no clue, but... Anyways, let's talk to this guy right here. Oh, please, tell me my nightmare is over. You can save me. I don't know why, but you just look very... capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant manta-shaped thing showed up and it was this paper-thin floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then, oh the horror, my beautiful hotel, my poor building. It sank in the middle of the of that awful ooze. Why me? Why? Now I've got the staff cleaning up, but where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and... Ah! It's back! That gossamer sh ghoul! Do something! So, um, that is Fanta Manta. That is a boss in this game. Um, which is widely regarded as, like, probably the hardest boss in the game. Um, now what you're supposed to do is, obviously, spray at him. The more you spray, he actually, uh, the more you spray, the more he, like, divides into, you know, multiple other Manta Rays. Now, my suggestion is to use the, uh, the R and A. Uh, thing where like you do like this giant like uh, uh, what's it called like out of water and occasionally like go for like the the little hover because the hover can actually do very well I mean it keeps you kind of well it sometimes keeps you safe not always um, <laughs> so it's a very interesting boss a really cool boss actually very like unique idea if I do say so myself now I gotta go get some water because I'm kind of running out that's, that's basically, that's Phantom Manta, I mean, like, he just, once, once he starts, like, splitting up, that's when it becomes very, very annoying to, like, um, like, hit him, obviously, because, you know, there's so many of them, so many tiny ones, um, and then once you got, like, uh, enough of them, like, you know, like, divided into, like, small boys, they start becoming, like, more hostile, which we're gonna see pretty soon. Depending on how many I have still have to get. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, there we go. Now they're after you. So once they turn like this, like, pink. Oh, frick, I don't have any water. Go, Mario. Go. Run. Run. Like the wind. Uh, once, once they, uh, start becoming this, uh, I guess it's more like a magenta, I think. They become this color and then they start chasing after you. This actually is not that bad. Um, if they actually, uh... If they go after you like this, then all you need to do is just stand, or just jump and uh, do your hover nozzle. Because they go after you, so they're gonna land right uh, under the uh, hover. Now, it's a pretty good tactic, but it's not my most recommended. My most recommended is still just uh, like this, like the whole like um, spout. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like you shoot like a bunch of like water out. They can, and they can, for some reason, can go into water, which makes zero sense. But, I mean, you know, it's it's video game logic. You don't really, you know, expect much um, sense from video game logic. That's why it's amazing. I think there's like only a few left. Where's the other ones? Oh, there he is. And that's it. 
the man the phantom manta boss has been defeated only took three things of damage which is or three hit points of damage which is not bad act at all actually so good on me <laughs> definitely good on me and that's ladies and gentlemen is the first um level or shine of uh serena beach now maybe wondering uh I don't know if you may see a difference. I, ho I kind of hope you do, um, but there is a little bit of a difference in uh, in how Sunshine looks. It just looks overall better, um, and yeah, it just looks better. I mean, it's more centered, that's for sure, and it just overall looks better. Uh, the main reason why is because I got a new device for recording uh, GameCube games. I got a GCHD Mark II, uh, and with that I also had to get an original GameCube, uh, like a, the original model, DOL-001. Um, so, yeah. It was worth it, definitely. Um, it's so much better than the, the AV2 HDMI converse, since that like kind of forces it to run in 1080p, which doesn't always work out well. Anyways, episode 2, the Hotel Lobby Secrets. Obviously, by the title, we're gonna be, uh, have another secret level with two stars or two shines. Sorry, sorry, I skipped that. But it's gonna be like very simple. I uh, know they were they're gonna show the inside as well, weren't they? My fault. My apologies. I'm so like once again, I'm so used to uh, just skipping the cutscenes. Hey, uh, it's Mario, right? Yeah, Mario. Listen, I have I uh, have a feeling you can help me out again. See the hotel. It's well, it's full of it's full of ghosts. So, well, could you maybe look just... Come inside, please. I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be so modest. Okay, I, I appreciate the compliment, sir. Okay, so there are a lot of ghosts in the... Um, a lot of ghouls in the hotel. Uh, the white ones, I believe, if you spray them, then... Let me try. Let me try. Yeah, if you spray them, then they just become more visible, and that's it. I think you can also step on them, and they give you a coin. Uh, the pink ones, however, if you spray them then they turn into platforms, and you're actually gonna need this um, in order to uh, get up higher. So, let me try doing that. Some of that. Oh shoot, I messed up. Get back onto the- No, Daniel, stop! Okay, that was bad. And I believe after a little while, if you don't like, do anything about them, they will turn back into regular boos. Wow, I'm messing up immensely. There we go. I don't know how the heck that sprayed him, but it did. So what you have to do is just go all the way up here and step into uh, this little portal or whatever it is. And of course, Shadow sure Mario is going to be that kind of guy and take it. Oh, of course, I skipped the freaking cutscene. But yeah, this is a new secret level. It's pretty interesting to say the least. Um, how do I? I think I have to go up here. Yeah, okay. Go up here. Now, there's a lot of platforming to be done, but I mean, it's Mario. What do you expect? You have to like jump on these. I actually don't know the names of these guys. I feel like I should, but I don't, and I apologize for that. Now, personally, I don't view this one as difficult as like the the previous one in Enrico Harbor, not the Enrico Harbor, in Peanut Park, the one with the Yoshi's. That was just like I don't know why I had so much trouble with it, but I did. So yeah, this one's not nearly as bad from you know from what I remember. But if I die, then it's Knowing me, it's probably gonna happen. Okay, let's get onto this platform or this little cog wheel of some sort. Now, this is, gonna be, this is the tough part. If anything, this is definitely the tough part of this level. Well, that's the first death of the episode. Great job, Daniel. Good, good return to sunshine. Good return. <laughs> oh, frick. Um, that was just a bad jump. That was just a bad jump. And also, hey, I get now you guys get to see the whole overview of the level. I was actually pretty close. I just had to ride a cogwheel over to the sand pile, and boom, I was done. I would just have to jump to the end. Like the fact that I, the fact that I died on the on the cogwheel is so annoying. Now I will not lie, the cogwheel is definitely a little difficult to traverse, especially since Mario is pretty slippery. I don't know why, but apparently in this game he has slippery shoes. I'm just like, hey, Luigi's the one for that. And still, Luigi like works very well even with his slippery shoes. So I don't understand why Mario's so like wonky. Maybe because like when it comes to Luigi's slippery shoes, it's it's more of a case of like it works really good with the newer games, the newer 3D Mario games, or just the newer Mario games in general where you can actually play as Luigi. Like even Super Mario 64 DS, 
He he may have slipped. What was that? I was like r surfing on the edge. Oh, this is bad. This is my last life, isn't it? Oh, please don't tell me it's my last life. Okay, it's not. Good. You know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna let you- I'm not gonna just like have you guys watch this constantly over and over again. I'm just gonna see you to when I get to the cogwheel. Alright, we're back. Um, I finally made it to the cogwheel. Hopefully this goes by much better than previous to, than previously. I'm gonna just tiptoe. That's not the best idea, that's not the best idea. It is overall a pretty good idea to just tiptoe. Huh, okay. I just gotta get up, I just gotta get up. Pass this! Okay, come on, come on. This is the last part, last part! Let's go! Okay, luckily I didn't get a game over on this one. I like, say it's easier than the previous one, and yet I lose like, what, three lives? Like, come on. That was- that was kind of unbelievable. <laughs> that was a little bit unbelievable. Okay, but luckily that's finished. Now we have to go back and uh, do the red coin mission, so that's gonna be fun. At least this time you can actually uh, see the uh, the mission, like, overview. A little cutscene that plays, uh, previous- and, uh, beforehand. Okay, um, now I'm gonna go to episode 3. What even is episode 3, Mysterious Hotel Delfino? I think I know what that one is, but I'm not 100% sure. So now you can actually see this. I assume it's just gonna be... Okay, yeah, it's it's just gonna show this. It never, if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe it like ever shows the inside of the um of the hotel, like in the pre uh pre cutscene kind of thing, or pre mid, but whatever the thing the, the cutscene for the mission. Okay, let's go back in, and uh, you know what? Let's just let's just cut to when I get to the secret area. All right, we're back. Now we're here. Um, now for the red coin, uh, switch, it's actually a little, like, more into the level. Yeah, we're not gonna see it in, ju in just yet, actually. I don't know why it's, like, so late into the level, but it is. So we just gotta pass this part, and I believe it's gonna be, like, right there. There's a speedrun strat you can do with that, like, where, as you can tell, um, if you break that if you break a block then you just like can't wall jump anymore which is very strange there's like i think if you um spin then like you can actually like right after breaking the block you can actually you know wall jump again and then break it it's it's very interesting i've tried to do it but it's not easy <laughs> at least for me maybe i just if i practice uh enough then i could get it oh my gosh i was close okay i think oh yeah i have to go all the way over here and i believe there's like one inside fridge Come on, get it? There we go, okay. Now luckily they give you like a good- Oh, right, the watermelon. I don't know why I forgot about that. Uh, where is it again? Isn't it like oh, down here? Yeah, it is, okay. Oh my goodness, I cannot traverse in this game at all. Goodness me. Oh, that hurts. Okay, you know what? It's it's fine. It's fine. We can get back it. We can back get back to it. The only problem is that I do have one life left, and I'm scared as heck. I'm not trying to die again. I'm gonna see me this. These secret missions always are always difficult, and I don't understand why. They're not that bad. The fact that I'm having so much trouble with them is just kind of crazy. Maybe I'm just not used to sunshine. I mean, it has been a good amount of time since I last played sunshine. I think the last time was maybe in like June of 2019 and now it's currently January of 2019 so like yes it's been a while since I pl last played Sunshine so maybe that's why but even then it's been a bit since I last played it uh, before I started the, the let's play holy crap Pfft. that was way too close now I have to get back up it's, it's not that's not a problem though it's not a problem I can just do this okay good 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 now I gotta get down here Good, good, okay, nice. Now, I'm, I'm scared as heck. If you, can't, if you can't tell, I'm really scared. Now, luckily for this, we have Flood to help us out with the cogwheel. So if I, f if I feel like I'm about to die or whatever, then I'm just gonna have Flood save me. That's probably like just the best course of action. Oh, that was close, Mario. You scared me there. I can't make that, I can't make that. Oh, I almost could, I almost did actually. Nice, good, good, good. Two more left, two more left. Nice, one more. Should be right over here. Good, okay. Mm, second try, not bad, not bad. 
Now let's just get to the shine without dying. That'd be very nice. There we go. Okay. That was a little more difficult than it needed to be. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that, but I did, so... Apologies. <laughs> I'm, I, I promise, I'm usually good at sunshine. I don't know what it is today. Maybe because it's cold? I doubt it. Because it it's like, what, 27 degrees or whatever? It's, it's kind of insane. I don't know why it's that cold, but it is. New York, that's how it is. Um... Man, if I, was, if, I, if I was in Arizona right now, mmm, nice weather. Episode 3, Mysterious Hotel Delfino. I don't know what this one is. I'm not... Actually, yes, I do. I do remember this one. Is it going to be the same thing? It's going to be the same thing. Okay. They're, n they're not going to show us the outside, are they? Kind of doubt it. I'm pretty positive that this is another... Actually, no, it can't be, right? Actually, we'll see. Because I know exactly where, where, where I'm going to have to go. Ah, uh, Mario, please come right in. Do I sense some reluctance? Come now, don't dawdle. There's a possibility that we're gonna be doing something. Good job. <laughs> but I'm not exactly sure. Do I need Yoshi? Nah, no, I don't think so. I think I actually have to go through here. My apologies, but the casino is not open. Okay, so never mind. It's this one. So we need Yoshi. We need a pineapple first. Where can I get a pineapple? Oh, this is annoying. Uh, I forgot where to get the pineapple. Hmm. You have to get the pineapple from somewhere and then bring it all the way down. It, the, I, I think he always wants a pineapple and it's very like annoying to get one. It might be on the top floor actually. I may be mistaken, but it could be there. I'm gonna check. Is it? No, it is not. Okay. Um, so it's definitely gonna be one of these rooms. That's the, the problem is that there's a lot of rooms and a lot of these are locked, which I guess is good. In some way, actually, no. I remember now. You cannot go through the uh, the ones with doors, or, or, or the ones with doors that are closed. Now there obviously is a shine um, that you can hear, and that one we will need Yoshi to get. As you can see, there are these big boos. Uh, you can't actually spray them. They, well, apparently they just damage me. Sure, I deeply appreciate that. Where is this? There's a blue coin there, which I don't want and you can't actually just jump over those guys either It's very annoying, but you can't you can jump over the little boos There's one that kind of like just passed through the wall But let me see. This is the only route I can actually take So let's go down here It brings me back here. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's definitely not what I wanted I don't know where oh actually wait a second. I think if I go back to down to the bathrooms there should be an area in here that I can just like jump through. I don't know where it was exactly. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Where is that flipping pineapple? Oh, we're going back up to the seal, uh, the attic or whatever it's called. Can I get through? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's annoying. Wait, maybe I may be mistaken about Mario. Please, thank you. There isn't. Ouch. Wait, then how do you get out of here? There's an area up here, but you can't get through there. Wow, this is actually very annoying. I want to cut, but like at the same time, for people who are, you know, um, using this as like a, a, wa a walkthrough or whatever. Um, maybe here, actually? Yeah, this is the one. This is definitely the one. I need you guys to actually see every moment of this. So spraying this will actually uh, unlock that and you can get through. Um... I believe, yeah, there's this area. Shut, stupid booze. Get out of here. There's one more. Yes, I think this is the last one. Hey, hey, get, get back. Thank you. Oh, frick, this is bad. This is really bad. Stupid. But the coins don't re revive me? Oh, that's annoying. So we gotta just spray this and try to like, uh, make it into a boo. There's one more left. All right, not bad. It's pretty decent. Okay, hurry up. Now, I believe... Okay, so we can actually, like, get th go through another area, which is right up there. Stop. What the heck? He just wall jumps? That was strange. Okay, can I make this? I can. Okay, perfect. I'm, now, I'm here now. And I believe if we pass through this room... And... Oh, do I ground pound or no? Ground pounding will take me there. I don't think there actually is anything there. This just, yeah, this, that does that. 
This doesn't flip around. I want to say I grand pound through here. I do. Okay. <sighs> we. What do we do? I think. Which one do I grand pound? This is the one with the pineapple. Okay. Now with that, we just have to make sure to. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. So we just go through, out through the door. I'm worried as heck right now, if you can't tell, because I'm literally about to die. I have one hit point left. Um, Yoshi, now I have to go all the way up to the ceiling, to the top area. Actually, wait, did, there's a place Yoshi can now access, or that we can access because we have Yoshi. Not only are there different areas in like the ceiling, or like the upstairs, the like really upstairs area, but there's also like that one like boo or whatever that was kind of like sleeping there. Okay, I'm trying to be careful. Okay, I, mean, I was wondering if that worked. Would have been very uh, worried if it didn't. I think there is good? Yes, it is, okay. Nice, go through there. Open that up. Okay, coins do. I don't know why I thought coins didn't uh, replenish health. That's literally the only way to replenish health. Yeah, so we can eat that guy. Okay, grab that. Yoshi, thank you. Now we can go through here. Oh, that just brings it to a blue coin, so it's not really uh, useful, at least for now. Wait, so what do I do? Do I have to leave Yoshi behind? Yo no, no, that's dumb as... That was, okay, that was actually very interesting. Yoshi, sorry, but it's time to die, my guy. If you spray him enough with the water, then he actually will just like not live anymore. It's very strange, but at least, at least I think that's the case. Maybe if he just wastes his juice, that might be it. This might take a little while, so bear with me. I need to like get rid of Yoshi because like, he, for odd, some odd reason, he cannot go through the door and I don't understand why. Wait, maybe. No, there can't, yeah, no, he can't go through the door. It's the dumbest thing. Crap, what do I... I should not have done that. Okay. Um, I'll meet you guys back. And I'll have another Yoshi ready for me. Hopefully it'll spawn fast. There he is. Oh my gosh, it took so freaking long. Goodness me, Yoshi does not respawn quickly at all. Okay, so where do I want to go? I think I want to go all the way to the top, if I'm not mistaken. Because at the top, we can then access the... Uh, the ceiling. I guess it would be considered a ceiling, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, what, what the heck was that? Oh, it was a freaking ghost. Gosh darn it. Stupid ghost. That was very annoying. <laughs> Alright, so let's get through here. Go up. Okay, now question is, which way do I go? Because there are a lot of routes in this. Um, I thought originally, like when I originally did this, I thought oh, I had to go like try to get to the middle, but that's definitely not where you have to go. Uh, that's not where I have to go. Come on, Yoshi, stop. Am I stuck? I think we're stuck. You gotta be joking with me. I waited all that time just for Yoshi to get stuck again? What the heck kind of nonsense is, nonsense is this? No way. No, no freaking way. This is unbelievable. Stop it. Okay, thank goodness. I got so worried that I could not get Yoshi back again. Do you know how pissed off that would have made me? My goodness. Okay. So I think... If I'm remembering, we might have to go to this one? But even then, this doesn't seem like the right one. I'm gonna... Uh, wait, I'm gonna search around very quickly. Okay, so we're back here. Let's go through here again. I want to see it's this one. Screw it, I'm gonna say it's that one. Let's see what happens. First, eat these guys. Don't get stuck again, because that was very annoying. Okay, go around. And then we made it to here. Please tell me this is it. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Thank goodness. Here's the shine sprites. We made it. We infiltrated someone's pool, but it's whatever. There is, I think there's a way to like glitch into this area, but I'm not exactly sure how to do it. I've done like some speedrun strats um, in Sunshine, but those were like more easier to do. 
Um, this one, I think, if I remember correctly, it's pretty gosh darn difficult. I've seen a, a, I've seen a speedrun of Sunshine, but I've never re really remembered that one. That's uh, Strad. What's next? Episode four: The Secret of the Casino Delfino. Secret. So that means there's gonna be two shines. Fun. <laughs> Very fun. It's gonna show the exact same cutscene. There's no point in watching it. I think I might do uh, what I did with Peanut Park. What, what was it, Peanut Park? No, Gelato, I think. Where I just did like four missions and then just like save the rest for the uh, next episode. I'm probably gonna just do that. Because this episode's getting a little bit long. I'll let my boys know you're coming. Go on now. Um, that's just. I mean, this episode is already at 31 minutes. Well, recording wise, but. Actual video wise, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Now we can actually go into the casino. Ah, uh, Mario, right this way, please. And we we can gamble. That's the best that's the best thing to do. Okay, so I think we have to do both of these. We have to the main uh, gimmick of this is that you have to get three sevenths done if I'm not mistaken. And once you get one, you can't you can actually change it. Oh thank goodness it it uh was fine. No, and I believe if you get like three of something, then you actually get that. So if you get three of a ghost, you I believe you either get... I think it's three ghosts. Yeah. Can I actually get it, please? Thank you, that's two. One more. Oh, I just had it. There we go, perfect. That's one down. And now we gotta go to the other side and uh, get the other one uh, sprayed. What we got? I mean, I'll take- that's only three coins? I thought it was like nine. I thought it like multiplied, but I guess not. Oh, this one's very annoying because you actually have to like- you can't do it individually. You what? You spray one and then boom, you- all the other ones activate. Uh, this is a ghost. Okay, so it is only one- uh, one ghost. Okay, I thought it was- I thought it would like multiply or whatever. But I guess not. Okay, please give me a seven. Nope, that's just coin. Don't really care for the coin. I just want a seven. Gosh darn it, again? This- oh my gosh, this is so annoying. He just skipped- oh, now I gotta deal with the ghost. Fun. Piss off. Nope, skedaddle. Another ghost. Another ghost, you're joking. Wow! Another ghost. This game hates me. <laughs> Officially. Thank you! Please tell me it's a seven. Yes, okay, thank goodness. Oh no, it's this. If you guys played Sunshine, you know exactly what this is. This, oh my gosh, you have to spray all these tiles and uh, make them flip over, but they do not like to cooperate at all. I'm telling you, they do not want to cooperate. It's so annoying to actually get this one. And sometimes when you like don't even like spray any of them, they just start flipping out of nowhere, and it's so annoying. Okay, that's that one. I feel like... There's no, like... Ah, uh, there's no good position you can do, because then, like... Some, like, little drops of water can just, like, affect others, and it's so dumb. Like, that one. I mean, that one actually worked, but... Please. No, that's not gonna work. Oh my gosh, I hate this so much. I literally hate this. Come on, just that. Get that one. Get that one. Don't affect the... Hey! Thank you! That's that. Come on. Okay, that's that. Good. That's good. That's good. Okay, that's that. Can I get that one? Don't affect. Don't affect all three. No. <laughs> please. Stop this. Please. Please. Okay. Good. 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 There's a few more left. Just a few more, and they're like they're they're easier ones because they're like on the edge or on the corner. How? What? The fr that makes no sense. Just get it. Just get it. That's one. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, stop it. Stop affecting that one. That's good. That's good. That's good. Come on. One more. One more. Finally. Oh my gosh, that was annoying. Oh, let's get inside. Now we got another secret mission. Two in one episode. Kind of crazy, if you ask me. It's a pretty interesting one. Pretty intricate. Now, luckily, there are some one-ups in the level, which is good, but they're not... They're pretty far into the level. So, luckily, this one doesn't do any, like, crazy rotations, which is nice. Um, but it's still scary. Oh, this is a one-up. Okay, I need a one-up. Because I have literally one life left. If I lose this life, that is it. 
I get a game over and I'm not trying to get another game over. Okay, luckily this one up is actually really easy to get. Oh gosh, I had to wait for that cube again. Wait for the game cube. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This way, this way, this way. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, no, this is scary as heck. Rotate again and jump. Good, 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 good. Making some progress. Making a lot of... Oh, fart. Mm, okay, now we got twisty boy. There's a one up and it's so tempting to get, especially with the amount of lives I'm at. I think I might just get it when I uh, when I do this with the flood. Now a gigantic cube. Holy fart. Mario, please don't do any cra anything crazy like sliding off the cube, because that will be terrible. No, 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 no. I thought it was gonna rotate a different way, that's why I went that route, but ah. Okay, luckily we got a life. I'm so glad that I obtained a one-up. Because if I didn't, that'd be bad. Okay, come on, quickly, quickly. Oh, thank you. This part's scary, especially the fact that right after this, there's like a, a part with, the, with a rotating cube, and that one's not enjoyable. It's just very, it's very scary to deal with. Do that, get the one up, get the one up, get the one up. Thank you, run like heck. Okay, Whew. now get that box. Or get onto it, I should say. I have, to f I have to be careful of that giant cube. Luckily, this one doesn't rotate in any crazy way. The giant cube kind of does, but... Eh. Okay. I want to get this one up so badly. But it's, like, really difficult to get. Hey, there we go! I got it. It's nice, nice, nice. So I have two lives, which is good. I think it's going this way. Yeah, yeah. Now, how is it going to rotate? It's going that away. This is such a weird rotation, too. Now, jump off, jump off. Thank you, okay. That one was good. That one did not take ne not as much as the uh, previous one. one. The previous one took like, what, three tries or something like that? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> okay, now we gotta go back into the level and, uh, and get the secret one done. So, you know what? It's gonna be very annoying trying to get back, especially with the whole casino thing, so I'll meet you guys when I get there. Okay, it wasn't- the whole casino thing wasn't terrible, but it could have definitely been better. Okay, red coins time, let's do it. There's one right smack dab in the middle, okay. I can get that, I can get that, not a problem. Nice. Okay. Oh, of course there's one on this thing. Oh, that's annoying as heck. I get PTSD from one of the ones from Delfino. Not Delfino, but uh, Bianco, yeah. I would like- as much as I would like that life, I'm kind of a bit- kind of on a time constraint right now, so... I need to get these red coins fast, but not like that. That was terrible. Hover to this and just go. Just freaking go. Make it, Mario. You are a Chad. You got it. Okay. I don't have too much time left, but luckily this is a pretty, pretty linear, or pretty linear. Sorry, linear. What the heck is that? Pretty linear um, red coin mission. See you right there. And up. Come on. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, that was getting a little annoying. If I die... Whew. You know what? Just to- just for safe measures, I'm gonna take this one up. Just for safe measures. I'm not risking it. I've been getting very low on live recently, and I'm not trying to have a repeat of, uh, of the last episode, because last episode was t bad. No, oh, screw it, I'm just gonna go for it. And there we go. This level has been completed. First try for the uh, red coins. Very nice. Very, very nice if you ask me. But that will in fact be it for today's episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the next episode, we will be continuing with Serena Beach and uh, probably finishing it as well. I don't see why we won't be able to finish it. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be happening. So uh, subscribe to um, if you like my content and you want to see more. Hit the notification bell while you're at it. To get notified when I upload, like this video and share with your friends or a random stranger. And comment you down below your answers for today's question of the day. What could be my question? Hmm. Would you consider Phantom Manta the most difficult boss in the game? Let's give me my question. So, comment your answers down below. Follow me. 
my social media is obviously down below in the description, including my Twitch, so check me out there. And I'll see you guys next time. Pop-Tarts, out.